Good Monday, everyone. Let's give everyone a couple minutes to join us. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. All you dad out there, all you dads, an amazing Father's Day. All right, here we go. Holla at y'all. Good Monday morning, fiends and sworn and comic book fans alike. Dave Harriman, how you doing, man? We'll send you a wave. Woohoo! Wave it at Dave Harriman. Thank you for joining us. You are the first contestants of the CCSN. Ah. <laughs> how are you doing, Matthew Davis? How was your weekend, man? Did you have a good one? <laughs> yeah. Hey, all you dads out there, I hope you dads had a really good Father's Day. Um, I hope everyone had a restful weekend. I hope you all had a fun weekend. And uh, I hope there was, you know, some good food, some good drink, and lots of family love. Because that's all you can uh, ask for on Father's Day, right? Okay, I'm going to show you guys uh, some things real quick. Um, the first thing I'm going to do uh, is let you guys know that there's links down below. Click on those to go ahead and do your shopping selections. Mine was really good, uh, Matthew. I actually made uh, my second tortoise table for uh, one of our tortoises. We have four. So um, the larger one, um, who's about 25, he um, has some uh, bone growth issues. So we created a nice little habitat so it's easy for him to get around and check it out. And he seems to really like being uh, out and about with everyone. So yeah, that's what I did, and it was a lot of fun. Hey, Psycho Sean is in the house. Look out for that Psycho Killer. So what I want to show you guys today is um, some of the stuff that uh, we carry over at the Coffee Comic Shop. Now, some of you folks may have seen these things. Some of you may not. Uh, for those of you who are first joining us, uh, welcome. Uh, we do things a little different here than other shows in the CBSN. We have links, so you can click on the links. Um, there'll be a link for the Coffin Comic Shop, as well as our eBay store, where I also, some stuff should be loading up right now as we speak. So I've got some uh, new material out there, some metal uh, card sets, and some other really cool onesie stuff for y'all. But what I wanted to talk about today is our art book selection that we have. Because at first... We gave you the Lady Death Naughty Collection. Wonderful, beautiful hardcover art book featuring many talented creators. Beautiful art in the Naughty Perfection. Yes, quite beautiful pieces. Look at you. Richard Ortiz. Uh, Jesse Witchman is in here. Sabine Rich. Really beautiful stuff, and this is a very popular and has done really well for us. Mike DeBalfo is in here. Ah, stunning pieces. Stunning pieces. So this is our first real big art book. It was Lady Death, The Naughty. And then that did so well. We're actually almost out of these folks, so what we have left on the store is probably the last stock, uh, and then we're out of them. We have sold out of uh, one of our art books already, the Don McTeague version cover of the amazing second chapter in the Lady Death art books. Now this one I had to do a little bit of uh, censoring because after there was naughty, we begat Lady Death naughtier. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, we did a second volume called Naughtier and this one had two covers. There was a Don McTay cover, which we are completely out of. Um, I think maybe we found a couple um, when we did the whole um, Coffin Comics Con online for you guys back in March, mid-March, around the time of ECC. And uh, I don't know where Brandy found them, but Brandy, Brandy found at least three or four, and those were gone like that. So we have a few of the eBass covers left. Not many. This stock is shrinking as well. They're only 40 bucks, both the Naughty and the Naughtier. And, um, yeah, again, more works of art. Yeah. Books fight. 
art by Ebass, Mark Silvestri, David Harrigan. Some of these are, I can say, a little risque, um, but they are all beautiful, all beautiful works. Richard Ortiz, I mean, really beautiful art book. I have to say, um, Brian has a really good eye when it comes to art and how to make things really catch your eye. And he's put some of the best ones in here. So we do some uh, Kickstarters and everything goes great. And we decide, you know what? We have the naughty. We have the naughtier. What more could there be? What more could we offer except for Lady Death? Dun, 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 dun. More naughty. Yes, it's not naughtier. It's not naughty. It's more naughty. Now there's two editions of this. And these are only going to be available coming up here on Friday. Jimmy put out the um, newsletter about it. So if you haven't signed up for that VIP's newsletter, this is where you'll find out where we'll start putting stuff like this up on sale. Now this edition, this is the signed special limited edition. There's only 300 of these. And as you see, I put a little sensor bar. It even glows in the dark too. But you'll also get exclusive print some foil cards, and looks like there's even a beautiful metallic card in there. So all of this will be available you, for you on Friday. Brian has already signed the inside of this. Take a look. But there's only 300 of these, so all you folks that are really into the really cool exclusive limited stuff, um, this is the book for you. And it features brand new art, Look at this, this is just such a really cool, there's a cool little nameplate that's in there and Brian signs them and they all have serial numbers. So this is Brian's copy for the archives. But yeah, really beautiful back cover, look at that, gorgeous. Really, uh, Diodato, beautiful cover. But yeah, these are gonna be available on Friday at 9 a.m. Make sure you guys are up. That should be 9 a.m. Pacific time because, you know, we're in Arizona, y'all. I could be wrong. But definitely sign up for the newsletters. I put the link is right here um, on this video. Just follow the links and you can sign up for the newsletters. And it'll let you know about stuff like this that uh, we'll be doing, some promotional items. So that's the 300 copy edition. This is signed and limited by Brian. It'll have a really cool coffin plate in it and uh, of course the amazing signature of Brian inside of there. And you'll also get the three cards, two hollow foil cards, there's a metal card and then a print. So some people are like, oh but uh, some of these signed editions I, I want to open and I want to read it. Well we got one of those for you too. Again this will be $40. This is the Standard, more naughty version. We're only going to do about 15, 1,700 of these. So once they are gone, they are gone. And these are going to be available on Friday. Friday. That wonderful day that comes after Thursday and is before Saturday. You know the days. But, you know, we also decided we have so many art prints. Brian went ahead and made this masterpiece collection. And this is beautiful. Comes in a beautiful case. Open it up here. And this one's still sealed. But it's got a really nice slip case that you can slide in and out. Beautiful coffee table book. Beautiful book to just put on your shelf. This is really a nice addition. Hello, whoever's honking out there. Hello. How are you today? Uh, but in here, you can expect art by uh, Jay Ancelito. Mira uh, Andolfo, Art Germ, Jim Ballant, uh, Eric Basaluda, Joe Benitez. We also got Stephen Hughes, of course, Adam Hughes, Terry Huddleston, Greg Horn, Bud Root, uh, Nii Rufino, Mark Silvestri, Sar Song, Billy Tucci, Jamie Tyndall, and a whole bunch more. And this is a really cool value. This is $80 for all of this. And this is a really good value. I mean, 
This is a, one of our popular ones. So I just thought since we're going to be offering the more naughties, the newest Lady Death art book, I thought I'd show you guys some of the stuff you can get at the Coffin Comic Shop uh, that are available to you to order right now. So that's some of the stuff uh, you can grab there. Also, uh, good news, um, the Lawrence Kickstarter. Thank you, everyone. It was a big success. Um, thank you, everyone, for backing us. Thank you for everyone who's continued to back us. And thank you, all you new backers, as well. Uh, we can't do it without you. And like I said, it beat La Muerta Ascension. So um, I'm going to be looking for a barber. I'm going to get my hair all cut off. I'm going to donate it uh, to be made into wigs for kids with cancer. And then after that, um, I'm going to have a pie smashed in my face. I told you guys I would do that if we, if La Muerta Retaliation beat Ascension. It did. So, man of my word, I'm going to get myself uh, all nice and cleaned up. Donate this hair. Take a pie in the face for you guys, because that's what we do. Uh, <laughs> okay, at least that's what I do. I, don't, I, don't, I can't see Brian or anyone else putting a pie in their face, but, you know, what can I say? I've had it done many times for charity, and it's always fun. So... Um, some other cool things to check out on the uh, Coffin Comic Store. I mean, we have stuff, we have books, we have the art books, uh, comic editions, limited editions, lots of really cool stuff. We also have these, and these are really cool. We have a nice selection of enamel buttons. We have the very popular sworn one, and this one glows in the dark. Um, so that is a glow in the dark enamel pin. We have Hell Witch, of course. Hey, Lou, how are you? Miguel, how are you? Who is going to hit me in the pie face? Um, you know, I, I'm thinking maybe Jimmy or Sean would be fun. What do you think, Miguel? Uh, here's the new uh, Shine one. And then, of course, the full-bodied Lady Death enamel pin. And there's also, uh, I think there's going to be a Hell Witch one on there, or it already is. So uh, these are only like 10 bucks. Really good value. I, my favorite one is the sworn one that glows in the dark. I really love that one. So, some other cool little things you can find there. Let's open this up and see what else I got for, for you guys that I'd like to share. Again, we're going to be sticking with the theme of uh, things you can find at the Coffin Comic Shop. And one of the things I found that we do have on there is the Hell Witch, the Forsaken Metal Card sets. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you uh, some of the metal cards that are in this set. There's six cards, uh, if I recall, that are in this set. Highly recommend it. Metal cards are the exact same size as a baseball card, but they are made out of metal. This is the homage one. These are really cool. And it homages the uh, first appearance of Wolverine. And this is... Uh, Nice metallic card version of the hardcover edition for Hell Witch, the Forsaken. Check that out. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous stuff. We don't play around at Coffin. We try to make things as fun and as beautiful as we can for y'all. So thank you for supporting us again. Here's another one. This time with sensor bars. I remembered sensor bars. Yay. What I'm showing you guys, these are um, the metal cards that are in the Hell Witch, the Forsaken metal card set. This is the uh, slippery and wet. Really beautiful. Sometimes the camera and the lights just don't catch some of the, um, the colors that really pop on our books. Another, oh, Jesse Witchman. Sensor bars. So that is um, the metal card set for Hell Witch the Forsaken. There's um, a couple on there, um, or you can even buy the cards if they're available as individuals. I mean, we do it both ways. That sounded wrong. Ha -ha. Some of the stuff that are on the Lady Death store that I just wanted to point out to you guys. We have the um, Hell Witch, uh, Naughty Hell Witch, Naughty Gotha two-pack sets. So we have those. Uh, I believe I think I have one more set on eBay, and then I am totally out of these. Another thing you find on the uh, Coffin Comic Shop is the uh, Scorcher number one, the Naughty Go Ass. And there it goes. Woo! There went that ass. 
I don't have too much fun today. It's, it's a wonderful Monday out. It's hot as hell, but I get to spend um, this wonderful Monday afternoon in HQ with all you fiends and all you sworn. We love you guys here. Thank you. Uh, next, we have a Scorched Earth Negligee Edition. This is a Jesse Witchman cover. We still have some of these in stock. Like I say, guys, doesn't mean they're going to be stock forever. Um, we have been known to sell out of editions fairly quickly. Um, so if you see it, don't delay. Jump on it because um, I can't guarantee quantities. Um, other stuff we have right uh, over here at the Lady Death store is the Lady Death Merciless Onslaught. This is the first appearance of Caprice. We have some of those available. I think there might even be uh, a couple of naughty Caprices left. Possibly not, but it's definitely worth checking out, guys. The store is hopping. All right. Another great homage. This is the uh, Jaunt into Darkness. This is just the standard one. And also, everyone, every one in five of these comes with a different color scheme. So there's an alternate cover to this. And it's funny, I just happened to grab one that was signed. So sometimes... Um, People have their books signed and they um, never claim their books. So we'll have uh, some signed stuff in. It makes it easier for us to pull orders to get stuff out to you guys as quickly as possible. Some other cool stock we have is the uh, Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss. This is the Naughty Hell Witch Edition. They did about 400 of these. Yes, I put the censorship tape. Yay. Oh, almost got good. I could have made a bikini out of that. Oh, well. I'll get more creative when I have time. Some other cool stuff is the uh, return of Lady Slave. It's the naughty version. Get these while we have them. I know they've been selling out fairly quickly. This is the return of Lady Slave naughty edition. This is stuff you will find over at the Coffin Comic Shop. Just go ahead and click the link and head on over. Okay. Lou, how we do things is a little different. There's actually tabs and links you can click, and then you can do all the shopping right there. Um, we have a link to the Coffin Comic Shop, um, which is everything we publish that's available for order for the general public. And then I also have an eBay link there as well, Lou, so you can go and click on there and shop away. So definitely all our stuff, and when you do your um, checking out, it'll take care of all the shipping for you and everything right there. Um, Brandy and the warehouse crew are really amazing folks and they'll definitely take care of you. So yeah, if you're your first time watching Lou, click on that link and that'll take you to um, our shop to go ahead and pick up stuff. Just kind of showing you a little mix of all the different things we have for today. And then I'll be leading into uh, what I'll be offering on eBay that was just recently put up. So thank you for joining us, Lou. Uh, Lou, where are, you, where are you watching from, by the way? Some of the cool additions we have at the Cough Comic Store is the zombie, Zach the Zombie Exterminator. And this one, there was only 200 of this made. So once these are gone, these are gone. Hey, Lou, you are quite welcome. Um, Ace is in the house. Everybody say hey to Ace. Wisconsin. Dude, I haven't been there in ages. How's the weather there? Are you guys uh, warming up? Or are you guys still a little chilly? Ace, dude, where you been? What's up, brother man? Good to see you. Kinda, in a virtual kind of way. Some other stuff you will find is uh, La Muerta Retribution Number 1, a raw edition. And then here's what the number 2 raw edition looks like. I really love this cover. She's got the total mariachi suit, and her gun is loaded, and it's smoking, and she took out the trash. Great imagery. I really love that. Sabine Rich really really nailed that and i love just the dress work that she did with all of the uh bones you know what lou i bet your heat is a lot nicer than ours right now uh tomorrow we're gonna be up doing 110 111 ace good 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 you're back to work everything's going well then everyone's uh safe and doing okay back at home ace another cool book we got um few editions left of the hell witch the forsaken hardcovers say so click on those links and, and do some shopping look around we have lots to offer you guys uh, and if we still have them might i recommend um we still have some in stock the lady death t-shirt and our hell witch t-shirts um 
I really like the material we pick on our t-shirts. They're very soft and comfortable. Um, even with the print, they don't feel really hot, like they're going to stick to you on a summer day. So um, if you like our shirts and our graphics, check them out. I highly recommend them. They're very comfortable, um, very airy. I don't feel uh, oppressed wearing a black t-shirt um, in Arizona if it's brought to you by Coffin. It feels quite nice. So here's just a little sampling of some of the fun stuff you guys will find at the Coffin Comic Store. Now remember, the more naughties go on sale on Friday, everyone. So load up and get what you like. Um, we tend to blow out of stock really, really quick. Um, we have very loyal fans. We have very loyal customers. Um, and we appreciate it, guys. We really do. We can't do what we do without you. Now next up, pardon me, excuse me, a little gassy today. I had a chicken salad sandwich today, maybe I've eaten it too quickly, so I apologize. Some other cool stuff, I went ahead and i um, going to move on towards the eBay store. Is I've been trying to find uh, more metallic sets of cards. Well, I've ran across them. Everyone, I actually ran across some old Kickstarter sets that were in the bottom of a box. So I went ahead and put them up today. It's three new sets. Now one of the sets, um, all the cards are signed. The whole set is signed, all sets signed. And I made sure I put in the COAs. So the only thing that's different on those sets for the signatures, and I'll show you those when I get to them. But this is the Scorched Earth Metallic Card set. Just put these up on our eBay store. And there's six cards in this set. Most metal card sets, uh, most metal cards are usually retail for $12 each. When you buy the set, it's only $10 is the breakdown of the price. So you save um, 12 bucks by buying this set. Dude, I'm glad everyone's kicking ass and taking names. High 80s and low 90s, dude. I'm jealous. I'm really jealous. Lou, I think you're going to fit in well with us. Thank you for joining us. It's really good to have uh, see someone shout out there and say, hey, I'm new. It's like, all right, everyone, welcome him. Let's give him a big shout out. Hey, stop flaunting your weather, okay? I get it. You have beautiful weather. My wife wants to move to Utah, okay? I get it. <laughs> also in the Scorch Earth set, this would be around the fourth card. This is just the Go Ass one. These are really nice, nice cards. I mean, it tells you the, the name of the card, uh, how many we made of it. Um, there's 199 of each card in this set. Each card has a serial number. And when the sets are, they all, here's the Bud Root card. If you look, when I give you guys, when I hook up the sets, I try to make, we try to have all the serials numbers match. It's the Bud Root card. So this is the Scorched Earth Metallic Card collection. I have a few of these I loaded up on the eBay store today. And then uh, where do I put my wrapper? Oh, well, I'll wrap them up later. It's right there as I look at it. Um, this next set are the ones I was telling you guys about. There was only 99 of each card made in this series. Um, all of them are signed except, I know some of you guys are going to go crazy because this set for Merciless Onslaught, not only has Brian Polito's signature in the set, all five, all four cards, there we go. Scott Lewis fans, there's a Scott Lewis card in there, signed by the mighty Brian Polito. There's a little COA that goes with it. And this is a set, folks. This is a set, I found it. There you go. Another really beautiful, I believe uh, Mr. Harrigan did this for us. There's a COA in the back. This is, this is a stunning piece. Again, signed. But the one card that isn't signed, and I think it shouldn't be unless you bring it to a show to us, is there is a bikini chase in these sets. They are unsigned. There's five random bikinis. You can't see what you're doing on because we blacked it out. 
because that's what we do. We want to keep it fun. We won't want to reveal the secrets. But for $1,999, I will be revealed what's behind this card. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that to you guys. No. I want you guys to be surprised. So this right here is a five-card set. All the cards are signed in these sets by the one and the only Brian Pulido. So I think I got a couple of those. Two or three, I think I put on there. For all you Metallic card fans. And, and for the people who uh, get Kickstarters and just didn't happen to get maybe that set, you well, know, I got them right here for you and they're already signed. Um, See, I think I have three to four sets on the eBay store right now. So just click on that link and I'll take you right there. And the other thing I said I promised I would find, I would put up there if I could find it. And I found two. I actually found two of these. I wasn't expecting to find any, to be honest. But lo and behold, going through reorganizing HQ and everything else, I found a little box. And inside that little box, I actually had a couple Hellwish Metallic Card Kickstarter sets. So, I have a few of these. Yay! Um, includes the Cauldron by Jesse Witchman. Very beautiful image. I really like this. I think this is probably one of my favorite uh, Hell Witch, Hellborn covers we did. Justin Hunt, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to send you a wave. Hi! Then we have Diego Barrage, C.C. De La Cruz. This is the Gotha. It's really beautiful. Beautiful image right there. And this is the Hell Witch Hellborn set. This is available right now on our eBay store. Once these sets are gone, that's it. I am out of them until I can find some more. This is the uh, hardcover art done by Sora Song and Cece De La Cruz. Coven, if I, uh, Coven is if uh, what I remember it named as a print. Beautiful, beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. And, of course, we always have the risque and the amazing, fun, hilarious, beautiful art that is Dan Mendoza. So I made sure to put my little sensor bars in there. Shing, shing, shing. Don't want to get anyone in trouble. Then here's the Naughty Tape backside. I believe this is another David Harrigan one. Yep, David Harrigan. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And bless you guys as well. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a six-card set, and we'll top it off with the Jim Ballant legend image. That's awesome. Love Jim Ballant's work. So, got some new metal card sets loaded up for you all. Um, like I say, the Hellwitch ones, I only had two sets, if I'm uh, remembering correctly. So, uh, that's it for me, um, unless I find another box. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I, I, I get buried in boxes all the time, so who knows? Um, but as of now, this is the only uh, sets of Hell Witch from the first Kickstarter of the medical card sets that I have found so far. So I got them both on eBay for you guys, so scoop them up, all you metal card fans. Also on eBay, if you guys would like your item signed, I can have that happen. Just realize it will add some time to shipping our book out for you. So if you'd like to get anything signed you buy on eBay, uh, just put in the notes section, um, please have Brian sign and I'll lay it out and make sure I get a COA in there for you. So a lot of you have been asking, went ahead, um, talked to the powers that be and they're like, yeah, let's do that. So I just need to let you guys know if you guys want your stuff signed on eBay, it will add a slight delay to getting the book out to you. But we are pretty quick. The warehouse stock are amazing. So they make sure they get that stuff signed. And once it's ready to go, they get the COAs and they start getting those hustled orders out the door for you guys. So amazing crew we got here. Next up, a couple other interesting stuff. Uh, these are the only couple things I put up for um, bidding. But these are test covers. And what these are is this pink section here is where they lay it out to see how the text is going to lay on the cover. So it's almost like um, a pattern, if you will, before they put out the initial foil lettering. So I have this one for the blackout. They are signed by 
of course, Brian getting his A-OK. -okay. I went ahead and uh, put a COA in these for you guys. So there is a COA. Whoops, there goes my other tag. And then I also have another test cover for the foil, and this is for the soft cover edition. So I have uh, one of each of these, that's it. They are on our eBay thing, eBay store. Just click on the link and that'll take you there. These two are the only things I have up on auctions right now. Um, they're just 25 bucks uh, right now each. So they are good for, I think, two days. So Wednesday, I think the, the whole bid ends on those. So definitely check it out. Okay, so went through, did some digging, found some onesie stock of items. Uh, one of the things I found was the Reckoning 25th Anniversary 3 book set done by Dan Mendoza. And these are all matching serial numbers. So as you can see, I'm pretty much near the, the end of the run there. It's number uh, 259 out of 260 on these. And these are all great homage covers done by Dan Mendoza. So you have the Homage Classic, the Silver, and the Gold. Now on a couple of these, we actually had some um, where there was like a 1 in 30 edition called the Blood Cover, Homage Cover, where it was basically the same image, but it was like black and white and red. So really cool. Um, hopefully... Some of you guys were able to get that in your collection uh, when we offered it the uh, previous lady that's Kickstarters. Another fun man, Dan Mendoza one. This is a vault book, everybody, meaning um, vault books are numbers four, five, and six of our numbered run. This is number six. This is the Lady Death Extinction Express Chaotica Bikini by Dan Mendoza. There it is, number six out of 150 were made on this edition. So this is it. I do not think there's any more. Um, usually when we have stuff pulled from the vault, um, a majority of the time, those are the last ones. Also among there, another cool vault book. This is the Naughty Chaotica. Also done by Dan Mendoza. I remember to do the signatures. Hey Lee, good morning. We're waving at you. Everyone say hi to Haley. We missed you last week. Another great, yeah, this is some of my favorite, the Dan Mendoza. He did um, his homage to uh, Freddy Krueger. This is the Naughty Knives edition. And again, is number six out of 230. Great cover, great cover. And this is all stuff you can find in the eBay store. Other cool finds, last minute finds I found. <laughs> I'm a poet and I don't know it or I shouldn't know it. Okay, next up we have the Unholy Ruin. I found another one of these, Mega Foil Edition, and Brian's signature in red just really make this pop. And I did include the awesome COA. You slept in last week, boy, you're lucky. So, Found another one. Let me say, one thing that's cool about um, my job uh, doing the inside sales and finding stuff for this show and, and for eBay is I never know what I'm going to find. And it's, I just want to cue up the Indiana Jones theme music, but I'm sure it's copywritten. And yeah, we don't want to deal with that. Uh, here's another last one from the warehouse. This is the Dragon Wars Elite Anniversary Edition. This is the Coffin Comics 12th Anniversary Books. So I have one of these right now. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, something I was really excited to get my hands on. I've been waiting, I've been holding off on it. And I finally decided to do it. I have loaded onto eBay the La Muerta Ascension. This is the Legend set by the great Ebass. You have the Naughty Legend Edition. This is a three book set, everybody. It was previously only offered on Kickstarter. It's number 48 out of 50. Then you have just the 
Legend Edition, given by Ebass. Gorgeous work, man. Gorgeous work. This is a great cover, guys. Great opportunity to get something really cool. And then you have the La Muerta Sitchin Noir Legend Edition. These are all together in this three pack. The hamburger. You know, yes. I, I, I think that on some of these girls, like, oh, that looks uncomfortable. And usually um, my wife will chime in. She's like, oh, no, no, that, that wouldn't bother you at all. So it may look painful for us, uh, but from what I understand from our wife, sometimes, um, yeah, no, they're not very painful at all. So again, La Muerta Ascension Legend set. This is a three book set. I've got one, it's on eBay. One and done, that's it. Hopefully I can find some more, but you know how these legend sets go. Uh, normally, I, I'm lucky if I get an AP or a BP, um, which those are really, really rare. So right here, and they all come with the COAs, letting you know the limited serial numbers and whatnot. We don't play at Coffin Comics. We are as legit as it gets. All right. Another wonderful vault book. I need to adjust this one to cover up the uh, nipples. Um, I have a Lady Death Hot Shots Naughty Jeweled Edition. Very pretty book. They say, I wish the camera could catch the uh, Schwarzky crystals on it. <clears throat> Beautiful piece. You got you can't see them all right here are the crystals along her belt line along right here in the ornamental egg that looks like one of those um, Russian eggs um, right here you'll have some on her let's see there you can catch the glint of them they're also along here her earrings of course have the Schwarzky crystals and also on her other bracelet and her upper gauntlet but yeah this is it this is a vault one that means this is Naughty Jeweled one is probably one of the last copies we have. Once they're gone, they are gone. All right, another one that's been very popular. I, I keep selling out of these and it looks like I have another onesie of it. Scorched Earth number one. This is the Sinister Seas Metallic Edition. We offered this. Dude, that pearl cover was really clean, Ace. I agree with you. That had to be one of the most beautiful books I've seen us produce. Um, just the way the the pearl in the background was, um, it just really makes the art pop even more. Uh, this is a metallic cover. This is a, a edition we offered at last year's San Diego Comic Con. Uh, we only made thirty five, and this is number twenty out of thirty five. I've yet to run across any more of the medals of this, but they say you never know. Um, I think I've been pretty lucky and, and having a lot of fun finding uh, stuff for this show. It's always a treat. Next up, a classic and probably one of my favorite, favorite Lady Death covers we have. Just because it's, it's, it's a Betty. Boom. This is the Lady Death Damnation Game. Pinup hollow foil. Beautiful. This book is so damn beautiful. Um, if no one gets this, I might have to treat myself because I just love, I love Betty Page. Um, I'm a big fan of old school pinup art and photography. And to me, um, Betty Page was, and still is to me, the queen of all pinups. So, love it. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is number six out of 69. Um, I have yet to run across any in the vault, but I am finally updating the vault uh, and getting that all taken care of. So who knows, maybe I'll find another one. But as of now, this is number six, uh, Lady Death, Damnation Game, in Apollo Foil Edition. And this is a fun one. This one uh, I actually have signed by the artist too. Um, this is the Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss. Lady Slave action figure. This is signed by Brian and Marat. 
But one thing is cool is uh, with this one, Brian sometimes will do one and five editions where he'll have one where it's like, oh, hey, it's an error edition. So it's a figure that looks like it's the box was glued on wrong or it's coming out. So it's made to look like an action figure getting ready to fall out of its packaging. Ace, you were always thinking outside of the box. That's the only thing you need to know about Coffin Comics and working with uh, Brian and the rest of the crew. We're always thinking outside of the box. So, yeah, this is going to be an amazing summer. And we're going to share all the amazing things with you guys. Stay tuned. That's why you should also sign up for the VIP newsletter, guys. It'll tell you about the very cool events we do the very special um, shows we put on, like we did when ECC was canceled, we did a Coffin Comics Con online. That's really hard to say, so I won't say it three times fast, Miguel and everyone else who did this to me. Um, really great idea. Uh, we really thought out of the box, and it's like, okay, well, this show's canceled. How are we gonna turn um, this situation around uh, and it's like, all right, we're going to put together a con. We're going to have um, some other people here with us as guests. We had Brock Michaels, uh, Mike DeBalco. We had so many creators with us here at our beautiful headquarters here in Mesa, Arizona. And we put on an amazing three-day show all online. All because, why not? We were already going to be uh, doing a show that weekend. Let's just do it live here in the studio here at HQ. And that's what we did. And that's why I like uh, working where I work. We do things like this. We kind of like, well, shoot, this happened. Well, let's go to a plan B. Even if we don't have a plan B, we'll make up plan B, C, D, and E all at once. Got a publisher file here for you folks. Been sitting on this one a while. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Um, been holding off on putting this for about six weeks. This is sworn... Number one, Richard Ortiz Premier Nice Edition. Get ready. Boom. 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 It just gets prettier and prettier the more I pull it up. And this is a publisher file, folks. And yes, I have the COA right there. Uh, some of you might who've just joined us uh, wondering, well, what the heck is a publisher file and Coffin Comics? You know, who are these guys? They're so weird and crazy. It's like, yes, we are weird and crazy, but we love comics, and we love Lady Death. We love the Muerta. We're Coffin Comics. We also have Hellwitch and Zack, and we've created this wonderful universe. We're all fans here that work here. We all love music. We all love comics and everything else geeky you can think of. We love doing what we do, because we do it for you. Publisher files are basically, goes as follows. Uh, anytime I put up an AP, a BP, number three, um, publisher file, and a mock-up, they all come with these silver COAs and silver stickers just to give you a rundown of what they are and the authenticity of their items. Uh, Coffin Comics produces additional copies of a given edition. The additional copy allows Coffin to review and proof the printed work and have extras on standby in event of loss or damage during handling or shipping. Coffin, came, uh, Coffin Comics retains these the copies until the shipping cycle is complete. Any and any allow loss or damage is reported. The copies are then vaulted. Publisher copies range in the number of one to four copies per select edition. Are the assets of Coffin Comics until sold or gifted. This document hereby certifies the authenticity of the publisher file copy edition, except no imitations. So we do these wonderful COAs on all the really neat exclusive editions we offer. Um, so this right here is a publisher file. Richard Ortiz is the artist. Gorgeous piece. And once it's gone, that's it. Go find another one. The last thing uh, I got for you guys here today on eBay, and I also uh, went ahead and upped the numbers on some uh, items as well that I found more stock off, so I went ahead and raised the inventory on those. The Oblivion Kiss Diodato Metallic Edition. 
I was going to put this on the eBay store two months ago, um, but I decided to hold it back. Jason Coates, what's up, man? Dude, you're never extremely late. Join the VIP newsletter, and then it'll let you know we're always rebroadcasting this on our YouTube channel, which you guys should subscribe to, so definitely sign up for our YouTube channel. And we also upload it on our other, um, rebroadcast it on some of the other uh, eBay, or not eBay, Facebook uh, pages we have as well. So these are just a small samplings of some of the many items we have both at the eBay store and at the Coffin Comic Shop. Um, again, I'd like to thank everyone for very successfully having um, La Muerta um, retaliation blow up. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you for your support. We really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for all those who joined us um, with our videos that we do on these items. Uh, I'm just going to step out of camera real quick so I can get some water in me so my voice doesn't get cracked and gross. And I'll read any comments if anyone's got any comments blowing up. Jason, where are you joining us from? Where are you watching from, dude? Oh, that's some good water. God bless you, Killigan, man. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting stuff in the reverse order. Why is that not working? Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so a couple things uh, I found. Um, a load of three metal card sets that are um, sets that were made for Kickstarters. There was a Hell Witch, the Hellborn. I had some old um, Apocalyptic Abyss ones, Scorch Earth, and oh boy, that water went down wrong. Merciless Onslaught, excuse me, and all the Merciless Onslaught ones are all signed, and I made sure I put the little um, COAs in there. However, the Chase one is not signed. We're not going to see what those are just so we have an inkling. No, 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 no. We like to keep it secret, so the surprise is with you. So whoever buys these sets, if you could please um, message us on um, like any of our messaging boards or um, even message me on Facebook, and I'd love to see what Chase Bikini uh, cards you got. So whoever uh, buys those last few sets, please send me uh, images of what the bikini was and maybe share it with all of us here at Coffin Comics. Also, uh, I wanted to let you guys know, this Friday, our newest art book will be revealed, More Naughty, right here. These will be available on Friday over at the Coffee Comic Shop. There is even a signed limited to 300 copies. It's a really beautiful book. You also get the nice holographic cards. There's a metallic card in there. I mean, beautiful piece. And you get the nice, very nice, that's definitely larger than five by 10. But you get a really nice mini print to go with it. So. Friday, these go on sale. Scoop them up. 300 of this, 1,700 of that. Once they're done, they're done, that's it. Some of the other cool art books we offer on our uh, coffee comic shop. The amazing, the beautiful Lady Death Masterpieces, The Art of Lady Death, Volume One. This is a slip cased art book. Very, very chock full of some amazing art. Very beautifully published, really nice packaging. We don't play around a coffin. Look at that, just beautiful. This one is still sealed. Very cool, especially if you're a fan of a lot of our cover art. It's the best way to get as much of the uh, coffin comics art in your possession as possible. Some other art books that we have in stock, and these are also going out fast. Uh, Naughtier, the E-Bass cover. We have a few of these left. These are all $40 a piece, guys. So once they're gone, that's it. They're done. They're done. 
and the original uh, Lady Death art book. Uh, this is the Naughty. Beautiful hardcover. Look at that. Our books are really well made. This was limited to 2,000 copies. We are almost sold out of Naughty and Naughtier. We are running really low on stock, guys. So if you've been him and hawing, now's not the time to him and haw. Make that decision. Scoop it up. Because they are going to be gone. Some other cool stuff, some last minute stuff. You got the Hell Witch hardcover edition for Hell Witch the Forsaken. This is the second chapter in the saga of our character Hell Witch, who made her first appearance in the Damnation game of Lady Death. Ten more minutes. Put that one back in here. Some other fun books you can find. Scorched Earth, the Naughty Go Ass edition. Just click on the link. Once we are out of these, we are out of these. Especially by Lady Death Lingerie. You know what? If we do Lady Death Lingerie, that means I got to try it on for you. Do you want that? I might. <laughs> Anyways, uh, some other fun additions. Merciless Onslaught, first appearance of Caprice. We have some of these now at the Coffin Comics store. We also have another one of our characters, Zack the Zombie Exterminator. This is the special edition, limited to 200 copies. Once these are sold out, these are gone, guys. So if you want something a little lightheaded, but or lightheaded, lighthearted, and just lots of fun, gooey, gory goof-offs, I recommend Zack the Zombie Exterminator. These guys are part of the Coffinverse, and they are now part of the members of the Sworn. We also have a couple more to the Raw Editions. And we also have Raw Editions for like Lady Death and Hell Witch and other characters. So it's not just La Muerta as well. This is the Retribution 1 and 2 Raw Editions. Also, Shaunt into Darkness. It's a wonderful homage to Dan Feldneiter. It's really amazing what they do with these books. They really, really do their research to make it look just like the original. So, very, very well done. Stephen Butler, Dan Feldmeyer, after uh, Jack Kirby. All this stuff at the Coffin Comic Shop. All this stuff down here lower. Uh, are all items that are on the eBay store. So just click on those links uh, to scoop things up. Again, we have the Naughty Hell Witch, Naughty Gotha 2-pack. We're running out of these two on the store. So this is a 2-pack set. Also, we still got some copies of the Scorched Earth Negligee here at the Coffee Comic Shop. So if you weren't able to uh, pick up this Jesse Witchman cover uh, during the Kickstarter, we still have a few left. I'm showing you guys this stuff because this is stuff we will be selling out of because we sell out of things a lot. Uh, Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss, Naughty Hell Witch Edition. It's also something you can find at the Coffin Comic Shop. Real popular, the Return of Lady Slave Naughty Edition. There's 275 made, 185, so we will be probably running out of this. I say probably... Right by the end of summer. The rate they're going. Um, they're pretty popular imagery. 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 Um, there's some stuff that are on the eBay store. Dan Mendoza's, Dan Mendoza's Naughty Knives Edition. It's number 6 out of 230. So this is a vault book. Yeah. Actually, that's kind of a neat idea, Ace. Um... Inquiries at CoffinComics.com there, Ace. Go ahead and message them there about that. Who knows? We, is, we still got a while till February, so who knows? Maybe we can get something like that going. Um, here we go. Another great cover by Damon Zoza. This is the Naughty Chaotica edition. This is a vault book, so that's number six out of 200. So this is from the Coffin Comics vault edition. Another more wonderfulness from Dan Mendoza. 
This is the Chaotica, Chaotica Bikini cover. And this is also a vault book. It is number six out of 150. Really beautiful. I really love his eyes on this one. Just really captures this, this beautiful look in her eyes. It's stunning. So really good job on that, Dan. Damn good job. As always, thank you very much for being a part of the crew of artists that deliver some really amazing work. So thank you very much, Dan Mendoza. Thank you all you artists that are part of the Coffin family. Okay, I got a few more minutes. It's the Dan Mendoza three pack. There you go. This is the Reckoning number one three pack. Has the gold edition, the silver edition, and the classic edition. I'd say, folks, I hate to sound like a broken record, but some of this stuff, once they're gone, that's it. They're done. They're done. Then you get into the crazy editions where they're APs and BPs where there are only a couple of them made. Oblivion Kiss. This is the um, Theodato Jr. metal cover. This was just loaded up on eBay. Publisher file, loaded up the Ortiz Nice edition. It's only 40s of this publish. <laughs> I can be the finale of the fashion show? All right, all right. I know, you always get the most beautiful one, this beautiful face wrap things up for you. Thank you, Ace. You're my number one fan. <laughs> this is the error edition of the Lady Slave action figure, signed by both Marat and Brian Polito. I do have a COA with that as well. Another awesome jeweled book. This is also from The Vault. This is the Lady Death Hot Shots Naughty Jewel edition. That's it, number six. Also, the Big Daddy of the Week. The La Muerta Ascension Legend set. Eric Basalud did all the covers. So you'll have the Noir, you have the Legend, and you'll have the Naughty Legend as well, all in here. And guys, anything on eBay, Brian will sign. However, I will let you guys know, make sure you put it in the notes section when you're checking out of eBay. But it can add time for me getting that shipped out to you. So I want to let you guys know, yes, we'll get your book signed, but just be aware that it will add some time to getting it to you. As long as you're cool with that, I'll totally get you guys hooked up with a signature on your books. All right, Damnation Game. This is another vault book, number six, hollow foil pinup. Ooh, yeah, that is my cover of the week. Hello, Miss Brandy, how are you today? All right, Brandy. I'm good, how are you? Good, she's whispering very mysteriously. What do you have to say? Hi! <laughs> I love working here, guys. It's always a fun moment. In the last two books uh, for you guys today, I found another one of the Mega Hollow Foils. Brian signed it in red. It pops. It's freaking beautiful. Get it. This is it. And then, number 20 of 35, this is the Lady Death's uh, Scorched Earth, Sinister Seas, Metallic Edition. This is a metal cover. So, anywho, that'll be it for me this week. I want to thank everyone again. I hope all you dads had a wonderful Father's Day. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Summer's coming. It's flipping hot. I'm hooligan. I'm sworn to you. Everybody have a great week and have a better weekend. Stay sworn. I will talk to you guys next Monday. Hasta la bye-bye, everyone. Have a great, great week. I'll be talking to you. Once I can get buttons work.